If you're watching this video, you're probably looking to get these camos done for ARs as fast and efficiently as possible. This video will try to cover all the tips and tricks that I've picked up while getting my ARs gold. This video will also be a little time consuming to go through, so if you're looking for specific tips, timestamps will be in the description below. The ARs are probably the most time consuming class of weapons to get platinum, but they are arguably the best and most fun to use. Now let's move into camos and their challenges. Here I'll be listing the camos, their challenges, and level of difficulty that they have. For spray paint you'll have to rack up 800 kills, it may seem like a daunting number, but you'll rack those up without even giving it a second thought. Difficulty? Cake. Next is the woodland camo, you need to get 125 headshots. This is a relatively easy one and should get taken care of naturally just by playing, but it wouldn't hurt to focus on getting a handful per game. Difficulty? Stale cake. For the digital camos you'll need 160 kills while crouching. This one the difficulty comes with remembering to crouch during games. I've also found that sliding is very hit or miss with the kills counting for these camos, so try duck walking instead. Difficulty? Easily forgotten, like Kony 2012. I ain't forget, Kony. The dragon camo is pretty self-explanatory, you just need to get 75 kills while hip fire. Difficulty? Slightly annoying like this FAMAS blueprint that greets me every time I start the fucking game up. For the splinter camo, you're gonna need 100 long shot kills. I'm gonna be honest, this one kinda sucks if you're a shoot house shipment soy boy like me, but you can use a longer range optic and longer barrel to up your damage range. Smoke grenades and thermals are a chose. Difficulty? Bitch and a half. For the topo camos, you're gonna need 100 mounted kills. Mounted kills and antidepressants go together like peanut butter and jelly. This is going to take a lot of patience and persistence, but here's a few spots that might help you out. Difficulty? About to call the hotline. For Tiger, you need to get 180 kills with all attachments. You get this by playing the game normally, having all the attachments on your gun, but if you're having a hard time with a certain gun, I'll throw up my gun builds for a few seconds, and you can pause if you want to see the attachments. Difficulty? Brain dead. The stripes camo requires you to get 50 kills shortly after reloading. Basically, just copy load strategically, if that makes sense. Shoot a bullet, then reload when you know you're about to get into a gunfight. Suppressors and sleight of hand help a lot for this challenge. Difficulty? Kind of buns. For reptile, you're gonna need to get 110 kills with no attachments. All you gotta do is get kills while the gun is naked. Difficulty? Not that bad, but kind of bad, TBHNGL. For the skulls camos, you're gonna need to kill three enemies without dying 35 times. There's no real strategy to this besides to play smarter and keep track of your streak. Also good to know it doesn't cap out after 3 kills per life. If you get a streak that's a multiple of 3, like 6, 9, 12, etc, it'll still count towards your progress. Difficulty? Sucks cock if you suck cock. The best maps for grinding these challenges out are Shipment, Shoot House, Rust, and the new map Candor Hideout. At the time of recording this, there's a map playlist, Cabin Fever, that features most of these maps. The game modes i found that work best for this are Domination and Headquarters. I believe these game modes are the best because they last the longest and the game doesn't end when a team reaches a certain kill count. With 8 required ARs to get platinum, it may be a little daunting to pick one to start. But here's a gun order I created that give you the best overall experience while grinding. Since you can get camos by playing Warzone, some of these guns are more commonly found in that game mode, so I put them towards the latter end of the list to make it more efficient. 
Also, the Ram 7 and the Garu 556 are completely optional when going for Platinum. That's all the tips I have for getting the AR camos done. If I left anything out that you found to be useful, drop it in the comments. If this helped you at all, leave a like on it. If not, dislike it. And if you made it this far in the video, call me a pig fucker in the comments. Peace.